So <laughs> say and spell your first and last name for me and just your official title with the film. Okay. Um, Courtney Ryan Ziegler is my full name. Um, K-O-R-T-N-E-Y, um, R-Y-A-N, Z-I-E-G-L-E-R. I am the writer and director of Still Black. Okay, and could you just talk to me a little bit about the film that you made? Um, Still Black, A Portrait of Black Trans Men is the first and continues to be the only um, film about black transgender individuals, transgender men. Um, yeah, it was, I'm sorry, it was produced in 2008 and ever since then it's gone on to tour across the world and garner multiple awards and tons of critical acclaim and um, it's a very important film because in the past, I want to say maybe 10 or 15 years, there's been a recent explosion of, of kind of trans identified films. Um, but though those films have kind of been exclusive in terms of race. Um, so this film was kind of entering into that dialogue of trans identity, but looking at it from the perspective of African American men. Um, and like I said, it still continues to be the only film that addresses that. Um, I really hope someone else makes another one, uh, at least about black trans women. That would be great. Um, but yeah, I don't want to talk, just go on about it. But So why was it important for you to make this film? It was important for me because I didn't see it and I wanted to see it. I wanted to see those stories and hear those stories. And um, for me personally, as a trans individual, I wanted to see people who look like me. Um, not only in film, but in a way that it can, because film can it's so easily travel so many places, um, I, I still wasn't seeing films that kind of represented myself. So I said, somebody has to make this. So I took the initiative to make it. And I made it, I got the idea in 2006, and I had just started my PhD. Um, so it kind of went on the back burner. Um, and just, I was really exhausted from being a first year PhD student. And then I switched PhD programs and I'm finishing up at Northwestern University right now. And it was my first year there and I was still like, this, nobody's still making this movie. So I finally did it and took time away from my, like I told you earlier, my doctoral studies to, well, at the same time to, to make the film. So let's talk about some of the people in the film. What were their stories like? Oh, amazing and beautiful and diverse. Um, I selected the men in the film to have a kind of broad range of stories. Um, some of the men are older, quite a few of them are young. Um, students, fathers, lawyers, teachers. So I really wanted kind of all these perspectives coming in of what it is to be a black trans man. Um, so the stories are amazing and they, they have changed my life for sure because Many, uh, for example, um, many of the stories are more on a human level, humanistic level, than necessarily being about race. Um, so, for example, one of the men in the film, Carl, is a preacher, and he talks about just, you know, what it is to be, to have this new male privilege and having a wife and having children and reconciling that and reconciling his own misogyny and his, you know, and raising his child and wanting to be the man of the house, but then struggling because, yeah, you were born as, you know, into a, a female body, and so you kind of have that, for lack of a better term, um, kind of socialization of, of being a woman in this world. So he was dealing with that. He still is dealing with that in conjunction with his newfound male privilege. So those are stories, I think, that can just translate across races and everybody can kind of relate to certain things in the film and that's just kind of one example but um, so you're on UGA today and your hometown is in California mm -hmm. what brought you to UGA um, I'm showing my film tonight um, the, the students were really excited I was contacted by students who were really excited who wanted to see it so we organized a screening and I generally travel around university and show my work because I'm also in the academy, so my film work is very much informed by my scholarship mm -hmm. and vice versa. So I do a lot of this traveling to universities and also as a student myself showing my own work. So Right. Um, so 
tell me about your experience in Athens. What have you noticed that's different about the UGA campus from all the other places that you've traveled? Um, I actually, that's very interesting. I like that while walking through campus, it is very diverse. And I've been to quite a number of campuses and even my own university. Um, diverse not only in terms of race, but in terms of just what students look like. I really appreciate here while walking through campus, I just saw a different kinds of different looking students. And I appreciate that because diversity is not always about race or sexuality, but it's just about how you present yourself and walk through the world. Um, so I appreciated that it seems to be a little bit less conservative than other universities I've been to. Um, but I haven't taken that much of a walk through the campus or gotten a chance to connect with students in a manner to really make any kind of larger judgment. But I really like the way the students look here. So, um, so getting back to your film, I read that it won a lot of awards. Mm -hmm. Could you maybe discuss mm -hmm. that whole? Um, Upon its premiere in October 2008, it screened in New York at Queer Black Cinema, excuse me, Queer Black Cinema Intermu International Music Festival, and it took home the Isaac Julian Experimental Award, which is awesome because Isaac Julian is, I love him, I am such a fan, and so inspired by his work. Um, it is also won Best Documentary at Real Out Kingston LGBT Film Festival in Ontario, Canada. It's also won Best Long Form Documentary, um, Fargo Moorhead LGBT Film Festival, and I'm sorry, I am like <laughs> <laughs> okay. forgetting all of the the awesomeness that this film has achieved. But so far, those are the three that I remember right now. All right, and. Um is there anything else that you would like to add that we haven't covered? Um, I just really wanted to stress again that the film still remains the only piece that examines black trans men. And like I said before, it would really be nice um, for there to be more films about trans folks of color because that voice is still missing. And I don't want still black to kind of take on the burden of representation for everyone because that's not what the film is meant to do. Um, but yeah, and I really hope people get a chance to watch it and enjoy it and learn something from it and realize that no matter what body you're in, no matter what sexuality you identify as, no matter, you know, where you're from or whatever, that we all have some kind of human connection, some simple human bond that, um, yeah, that, that is there. And I guess that's the main point of the film, showing that we're all not necessarily the same, but there's beauty in our differences um, and being human beings, so.